finally got to see them. There are a bazillion elk on that hill. Look at all of them. I would like to count them all to see how many I could find up there. Look at all of them. That'll be probably 40, 50. They're just chilling and eating. Looks like the elk bed down here, but uh, it's all mashed down like where they bed down. But uh, it's a pretty dang. We're just enjoying ourselves. We were trying to think of the our favorite verses or lines or whatever. Elk Lord tagged us in a video, wanting us to share them. We're just sitting here. We've heard a lot of splashes and things, trying to get some wildlife pictures and stuff, but we haven't seen anything yet. On this trip, tell them what we tell them what our goals were for this trip. Well, on this trip, um, since we expanded uh, contentment, we over doubled its size. Uh, we bought the adjacent acreage, and so we were just thinking maybe we might want to reconsider placement of the home uh, that we're going to build. And so we came out to look at it, and then um, also. We wanted to see if we could find a place to rent uh, while we're out here working uh, on contentment breaking ground in the in the summer. We have tossed around a lot of ideas, you know, buying a used motor home and rolling it out here and staying in it, or renting a place nearby, or even tent camping because the weather is nice here during the summer. But being out here, and our plans are to be here for two months uh, this summer. And so look forward to that footage. But, um, you know, just, we're just not sure. And if we, can, if we can find a place to rent that's nearby, then that might save us a lot of trouble, uh, having to worry about hauling out a motor home and messing with that. So um, we've been asking around, been getting to know our neighbors. When I say neighbors, I mean those who are several miles away. Those are our closest neighbors. But, um, and just uh, getting to know the area a little more, uh, enjoying the nature. Um, we also wanted to see what this river looks like uh, in spring as the snow begins to melt. And, uh, you know, as we showed you, it's doubled in width and uh, it's faster than it was kind of expected that. I could probably lie down here and put my finger in the river. Mm -hmm, probably could. Go ahead. Oh, I think I will. <laughs> cold? I don't know. We'll see. I'll fall in. That mm -hmm. would be funny. What would, what would you do if I fell in? Let you. Would you <laughs> save me? Sure, I'd save you. How cold is it? I don't know. Let me get in. <laughs> I don't Robert's going to tell us how cold it is. Well... I'm not jerking my hand out. Mm -hmm. You want to try it? No. Here. No thanks. Why not? I'll just dip on. Oh, it's pretty cool. Cold water. Oh, the sun came out. Pretty. <laughs> but uh, so those were our goals. Uh, this trip. It's just a very quick trip and turnaround. We've got to get back. Um, 
to Dinah and all the other projects we have going on. So we can be ready uh, first week of June of 2019 to get back out here and begin breaking ground on contentment. So um, those, that was our that was our call. But what else have we done besides been down here? Um, we drove around. We walked around. We went to the hot springs. Mm -hmm. We saw critters. We saw muskrat. We saw I saw a bunch of elk poop or deer poop or something. I wish I knew which. Lots of little footprints and things and snow. It snowed. That was fun. And then it was gone. We went mm -hmm. we went to town to take care of some stuff. And when we came back, the snow had disappeared. All of this this morning. Uh, was covered in about a half inch of snow and uh, really powdery stuff. There's no way it would stick together. It's just so cold and powdery. But uh, we left to go into town for a couple of hours. We came back and the snow had, it, it didn't really melt it because the ground wasn't damp. It really just evaporated off the ground. So, um, and that's sort of how it is in this high desert. Well, the ground doesn't get a whole lot of moisture. But you know, the last time we were here, we saw the carpe diem over there, but we can't see them <laughs> That means today. Asian carp. <laughs> and, but I don't know. I think that could be them splashing around in that little sluey thing right there. Who knows? Because... Yeah, up the river about 100 yards, there's an area there where some riprap was uh, put in to keep the river from cutting uh, into the bank. And right there in between two pieces of riprap, it's calm. And that's where we saw the Asian carp last uh, last summer late last summer and so but we can't get across today to go look at them uh, to see if they're there but we're hearing a lot of splashing over here and uh, so we think it's that beaver hanging out doing his thing he's got right behind the camera here he's got a slough that goes back a ways and it's actually the old uh, extinct riverbed that floods when the river's up and so he can go back in there for quite some way and uh, this is like his little domain Look. Yeah, ducks. So we're looking at three male mallards taking off. A whole bunch of ducks. Yeah, we can hear all kinds of birds. I can hear meadowlarks all over the place. Um, and behind the camera, several hundred yards, and there's no way we can get over there because of this deep slough between us. We had hoped to be able to show you some sandhill cranes. This is their annual, uh, th this is their migration route, uh, this area here. And so... They're huge birds. Uh, any of you who live in, you know, Florida, places like that, or southern New Mexico have seen these, you know, that they're enormous birds. Um, something like a six or eight foot wingspan, something like that. And they stand about four feet tall. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Sorry. What? I interrupted. We saw that eagle. Oh, yeah. We saw... Uh, we think it was a baby bald eagle. Uh, like, a not a full-grown one, but I don't know for sure. I heard him again. Splash, same spot. Yeah. Big old same splash. Spot. The same splashing spot. Yeah. I wish I... He's leaving a big splash there. I don't know if it's a fish, a muskrat, or that beaver. But uh, so we did see some disturbance right here in this slough right behind the camera where it looks like he was headed toward his den, which is about 40 feet behind the camera here. But uh, yeah, so we're just enjoying this time, resting a little bit. We've been working very hard. Uh, trying to get ready to come out here and spend the summer here working on contentment. So it's, uh, it was nice to come out for a quick visit, um, settle some things in our minds and on the land, tell what we're going to do, and, then, and just enjoy the peace and quiet. I know this is the best ever. Now the only thing you can hear that is an unnatural sound are jets flying over. Yeah, it's commercial airliners. You know, 30,000 feet overhead, but we can hear them. But no trains. That's the best thing ever. No trains. No trains. No cars. Yeah. No, no horns, no sirens, no machinery, no traffic noises, no nothing. It's just uh, so peaceful and quiet. It's just amazing. Love this place. We love this place. Someday, we would love to be able to invite many of you to come out and enjoy it with us uh, for a short time.
but that is what we're about this trip. Um, this this stuff right here, this grass, the stalk on it is not hollow, so it's a grass. It looks like a if it had a um, if it had a hollow stem like straw. It would be great. It could be great material for a straw bale home. I thought I felt something under my butt. <laughs> I did. I thought I felt a little thing. Well, remember last time we were here, right in this very spot, we saw a little snake. Ah! <laughs> so behind me, you can see a beautiful mountain. We won't tell you what the name of that mountain is because we don't want to give away our top secret location. <laughs> but I love it that it's got so much snow on top of it. It's so pretty. Mm -hmm. A beautiful day it's kind of cold the sun went behind the clouds so without that radiant energy there it's it chilled it off quite a bit but the beautiful thing is being out here when it's a little bit cooler and the sun coming out it, it shows a great deal on what uh, the passive solar will be like mm -hmm. in our house here at contentment it's gonna be a great way to keep the house nice and warm and it's gonna be a great place great great Great, great, great. Very, very nice.